Peace to the galaxy. It's your boy Supreme. Today is a good ass day. Today I'm about to put together my snake rack so I can show you. This will probably be the second video I post on my reptile channel because you know you gotta have the enclosure set up before you do. You know what I'm saying? So this will be after the unboxing video. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join Invader Nation for me. All right, bet. So all right, so let's let's get it. I'm gonna show you what I got, and then I'm gonna give you like a little update halfway through. This is a DIY reptile temporary rack type of deal type of thing though. It's not permanent, you know what I'm saying? But it's something that I can get to hold my snakes and also put my leopard gecko katana on temporarily. So this is where katana's at right now. Leopard geckos just sleep all day. It's, it's during the morning, she's already eight. She's, she's already getting upset. But yeah, so that's where Katana's at. I'm actually gonna put her on top of this rack once I put it together. Here is the rack. I got this rack from Target, just a three-tier rack. Um, some heat cable right here. I'll put the link in the description to the stuff right here that I actually used to build the rack. A heat thermostat to control the heat cable, some zip ties to attach the heat cable to the rack, and just another thermometer using a drill to drill some holes and screw some screws <laughs> and then stuff to sanitize the rack stuff to go on the rack that's where I'm gonna hold my hatchlings at so uh, let's get it so the rack is done finito it only took about like 15 minutes this is where my hatchlings are gonna go you can actually choose like the shelf size I don't know I might adjust it later uh, now I'm gonna put katana on top of the rack move her from here let's see so here it is, all done. I set this little table that Katana was sitting on next to it. It's gonna be like my little reptile handling table stuff that I do. You know what I'm saying? Probably put some food on there or whatever. But uh, <clears throat> so here it is. Here's the rack all set up. Got Katana on top, so there's no heat. There's no heat wire going through there. No heat cable on the top rack because she has a heating pad plugged in right here. I just ran the heat cable through the first and second one to the first and second shelf. And that's hooked up to this right here, this thermometer. This thermostat is actually heating it up so it'll be ready for my ball pythons. Okay, so it's about a week later. You know, this video was made over seven days because I wanted to show you how it started and how it's going. So, you know, everybody's doing great. Everybody's been in the enclosure. I actually was able, because it was what, it's seven days since I got them. So I actually tried to feed them and I was able to feed one of them successfully. If you can guess that, you know, put it, get it in the comments and guess who actually ate. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all how, it, how it's going right now. Okay, so everybody is in here. For the most part, everybody's in their high right now. Vader, Vader's still like, coming in I think he's still a little shy you know he he's been doing a little bit of exploring um, on these tubs I actually had to go in there I put these little um, humidity gauges in there I actually had to make the holes bigger because the humidity was too high and that's something I found out was important with your snakes so make sure you uh, control the humidity so they can have good sheds okay so that's pretty much it for my DIY reptile rack video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and join Invader Nation. And if you wanna get some Invader gear, make sure you go to invadervision.com. I got hoodies, sweatshirts, and I got some new designs getting ready to come out top of next year. You know, thank you for everybody that tagged into this video. Stay tuned for some more. It's your boy Supreme, and I'm out. <laughs>